watch Series 5 is in the studio and there are a bunch of epic features on this watch such as camera controls, remote flashing, voice recordings, useful gestures and a couple other hidden features. So you may think you know what this bad boy can do but man oh man have I got some awesome tips and tricks for you guys. So let's get into it. <laughs> So starting off with some cool camera features and did you know you can see and control your iPhone's camera all from your watch. So of course you're going to open up the app menu then just select the camera application and just like that your iPhone's camera opens and you can see everything on your watch. So by using the crown you can actually control the zoom of your camera zooming in and out and this actually toggles between the various lenses which is so cool. Then if you hold down and hard press you can even flip into selfie mode. So just like that you're in selfie mode Mode, take a quick selfie then if you want to get back to the back camera just hold down hard press and you're back and then if you want to toggle the flash on once again you just hold down hard press toggle on the flash and take your picture pretty nifty So moving on to some tips and tricks of the application menu. Not many people seem to like this bubble view, but I don't mind it too much. And if you use the crown on the right hand side, as you can see, just by twirling it, you can zoom in and out. But if you just hold down and then hard press, you can change between what they call the grid view to the list view. And I'm sure a lot more people will enjoy this style menu as opposed to that grid kind of bubble menu. And if you want to change back, of course, just long and then hard press again and you're back. Then if you want to actually move applications, you just hold down and as you see the apps start jiggling from there you can just select whichever app you want to move hold down on it and move it just as you see here I actually really like that there's this option to move the apps around and really customize the menu to make it your own then if you want to delete an application all you do is you click on that tiny little X and then you can either cancel or delete the app and it's that simple Now this is a quick one, but a good one. If you take your two fingers and you hold them down on your watch face, Siri will actually read out the time to you. So you take those two fingers, hold them down. 5, 11 p.m. And boom, this is a really cool feature and not exactly obvious. What you can also do is of course change the watch faces simply by holding and hard pressing once again. You can swipe to the left or right to choose your favorite one, but then if you click on that customize option, not only can you change the color, and there are literally thousands of colors to choose from, but you can also change the style. There's not as many styles to choose from as there are colors, but still there's that option. And then you can even add a bunch of other extra things onto the watch face. So it's really cool because you can customize your watch face to really suit you and your personal style, and it's all done straight on the watch. Now I'm sure some of you may already know this feature and it's if you swipe up from the bottom into control center and you click on this little icon it'll actually ping your iPhone so that you can easily find it. But did you know that if you click and hold down on this icon it'll actually activate the flash and the pinging sound at the same time so it makes it even easier finding your phone especially if it's maybe in the dark or a bag like this. I really love this feature. Siri is surprisingly useful and I often use it to help with spelling words or work out calculations. And what's really epic about this watch is if you just lift it to your mouth and say your command, Siri will automatically pick it up and respond. So there's no need to hold down any buttons or say, hey Siri. It's literally just as simple as, how do you spell Apple? Apple. A P P L E. Or if at the spur of the moment you want to make your friends laugh, you could say, Tell me a joke. A telescope just turned up in our lost and found box. We don't know who it belongs to, but we're looking into it. <laughs> so next time you want to spell something or need a little pick me up during the day, just lift and speak. 
Now this is another really nifty one and if you receive a call on your iPhone, did you know that you can actually transfer it to your watch? You simply click on that tiny little green icon at the top and just like that you can now see the phone call in progress. But if you click on that airdrop icon, it'll simply ask if you want to transfer the call, you click OK and bam, just like that the call is now on your watch and you can still do a couple other things. So you can even access the keypad while chatting on your watch in case you need to make any selections during your phone call and then if you want to transfer the call back to your phone just click on that green icon and the phone call is transferred. What I really love about this watch is that you can make phone calls directly from the watch. You just click on that phone icon, access the keypad, type in the number you want to dial and it's literally that simple. It is also surprisingly clear when chatting to people via your watch and I was honestly amazed. There's also that recent option so if there's people you often phone you just access that menu and quickly call them. So this is really cool and I feel super sophisticated when chatting to my watch. <laughs> For those of you wondering, yes, you can respond to messages from your Apple Watch. So for example, here I received a WhatsApp message and if I click on that reply button, there are a couple of options to choose from. But if I hold down and hard press, I can actually choose some language options. Then you can also respond just by choosing an emoji if you want to. But again, if you hold down and hard press, you get this manage option. And in here are just a couple of other extra WhatsApp settings you can change if you want to. So onto the part where you actually respond to messages. And if you click on this little icon, you get the scribble option. And as the name would suggest, you literally just scribble in your message and it dictates it for you. But an extra little feature I found, if you click and hold down on a word, as you can see, it highlights the word, but then you can actually choose different spelling options. So if you're not really good at spelling like I am, you can just highlight the word and it'll give you a bunch of options to choose from. And then of course, you just click the send button and ba bam your message is sent. If I'm not mistaken, this is a brand new feature on the Series 5 watch and it is recording voice memos from your watch. So you access the voice memo application, you record your message, whatever it is you want to say. And then once you've finished recording that message, first up, you can change the name of the recording. You literally just click on that word recording, then it'll give you a dictation or scribble option. And I chose the scribble option because I love this one. And I just scribbled in my title. So I said like and subscribe. But then what's really cool is straight away, it'll transfer that voice note onto your iPhone. So as you can see right over there, it says like and sub. So instantly, I can access voice notes on my iPhone that I made on my watch. Guys, you have got to love technology. Then for some other quick and nifty features, did you know you can take screenshots on your Apple Watch? So you just head on over to settings and select the general option. Scroll down until you see screenshots, then right over there, select that option and make sure you have enabled or toggled this on. If you haven't, you won't be able to take screenshots. So then all you do is go wherever you want to take a screenshot of. So I just selected maps and then you're going to press and hold down on the crown and the button. You do that at the same time and just like that, it takes a screenshot. What's also really cool is once it takes a screenshot, it instantly transfers that screenshot into your photo gallery on your iPhone. I mean, mind blown. The photo gallery is also really cool on the Apple Watch because you can see pictures taken from your iPhone on your watch. So if you want to show friends or family any of your recent pictures, it's so simple. And by simply holding down, you can actually view the live photo that you took. Then if you hold down and hard press, you can actually make any of your images a watch face. You get this kaleidoscope option or a photo option. So this is what the kaleidoscope one looks like. It's kind of freaky if you use a face in it. But if you see something else while you're out and about, snap a picture of it and try it in the kaleidoscope option. And then the photo one is literally that simple. It is just the image as the watch face background. Then this one's also super nifty. And if you head on over to the calculator application and type in your bill amount, if you click on this little tip icon, you can actually work out the percentage of the tip you want to make. And you can even divide it by a certain amount of people. This is ridiculously useful and I'm so glad I found it. Then if you also long and hard press, you can change the tip icon to a percentage icon. And of course, if you want to change things back again, just long and hard press. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here, but I will see you in the next one. Toodles!